Hey girlies, it's Tammy. I'm back at you with a new video today. So today I'm bringing you a lip swatch video. I decided to pick up some of the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. These are from AliExpress, so they are fake Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. However, I swatched them on my hands. There was no burning, there was no itching, there was nothing to worry about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use them on my lips. In my personal opinion, if you don't have the money to buy, say, a $20 lipstick and you wanna buy a $3 lipstick, go for it like I'm not gonna sit here and bash you because you choose to buy cheaper products so yeah I'm just gonna be swatching these on my lips I am gonna tell you the price I paid £1.50 hold on let me get it up on my phone so I paid £1.49 per liquid lipstick and I did get seven altogether so altogether my order was £10 40p so um the only thing I would say about fake liquid lipsticks is sometimes the shades can be off so what you see on the packet is not always what you get inside you just have to be prepared to kind of receive something similar but not identical as far as I'm concerned they look you know spot on like if a friend was to come to your house and said oh is that those of colors you could stand there and be like yeah <laughs> they all came perfect except for this one which is the shade merlot it's a red and i was so excited to use this but as i opened it and i pulled it out there's no doe foot applicator there's just nothing to put it on with um i did email them and they said do i want a refund or do i want another one so the first shade i'm going to swatch is called truffle it's a nude peachy nude shade i believe well it is on the box so we're going to open it up so it does look like a light peachy nude blah, 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 light peachy nude shade i'm going to swatch that on my, i'm going to swatch them on my hands as well so you can see So as you can see, they're very pigmented, one swipe. When I did my swatches before, the only thing I did notice is they take a tiny bit longer to dry than a normal liquid lipstick. Um, that's it. So you can see how pigmented that is. I would obviously use a lip liner if um, I was using this in a look. So I'm gonna see how long this takes to dry. So right now, 4.58. We're gonna see how long it takes to dry. So it's now 5.02 and we are more or, more or less dry. Some patches are still a tiny bit wet. Um, the one thing I will say is my lips are sticking together ever so slightly when I like, you see that? Um, kind of annoying but maybe when you're talking you don't feel it that much but when you definitely close your mouth and open it you definitely feel it but when you're talking you really don't feel it that much get a bit closer so that was the shade truffle so the next shade I'm going to try is called 101 nice color this one's taken ages to dry this one's not as sticky as the last one well as I talk it's not like super sticky and sticking together like the last one definitely not as sticky as the last one it's really comfortable actually on the lips it's not like when I talk it doesn't feel like it's dragging apart like the last one it it feels really good actually. So the next shade I'm gonna try is Brick and I'm not sure what color this is. Okay, it's another like terracotta brown red. I have one dose of colors, the real dose of colors liquid lipstick and it is more moussey type of formula and these are a bit more liquidy. Oh, I love this color. 
So this is it about 90% dry and I love this colour. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, it's not super sticky, there is a bit of stickiness. I think these lipsticks work best and dry best and everything when there's one layer. Um, you can definitely tell on the lips that they're cheap. Have you tried these? The LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. These feel exactly like these. They definitely feel cheap on the lips um, compared to like a formula like Lime Crime or Gerard Cosmetics. Their formulas are perfection, luxury, amazing on the lips and very long wear. Um, these just feel very, not tight, but you can definitely tell there's something on the lips. It's really not that bad when you're talking. You, I really don't feel it like sticking together when I'm talking to you like now. It's only when I go um, like that, then I can I can feel it sticking. So we're on to the last three now, guys. Um, they're all very similar shades. So I have Bury Me and Bury Me Too and Mood. Bury Me and Bury Me Too are very, very similar. In the packaging, they look basically identical, exactly the same. So I'm gonna do Bury Me first. Um, yeah, so this is Bury Me One. I'm gonna do it here. So this one is a gorgeous like pinky purple, more on the pinky side. So they're really not a pain to apply. They go on really smoothly, really um, opaque. It's just when they start to dry, they get a bit sticky, but right now they feel gorgeous. Okay, girly, so I just wanted to show you the difference between uh, Bury Me and Bury Me Too. So as you can see, this one's got a tiny bit more purple and this one's got a tiny bit more pink, I think, or the other way around, yeah but you can see there's a tiny bit of a difference. So the one I have on my lips now is this one. This one is the least stickiest that um, that I've tried. It's really not that bad at all. Um, there's It's still sticky of course, but it's really not that bad. Nice color, not as sticky as the rest. There's nothing bad I can say about this one. So I'm just gonna move on to Bury Me 2. So this is Bury Me 1. So I've definitely worked out that less product is better and you really don't want to press your lips together when they're drying so you kind of just want to leave them like that, semi open. So yeah. Okay girlie, so it is dry and it looks fabulous, it is the least sticky out of all of them, literally my lips don't even feel like they're sticking together at all. Um, it is completely dry and they are what do people call it kiss proof transfer proof all of that i think this is my favorite i'm actually obsessed i really like this shade pinky purple is my thing or just purple is my thing but you know we'll stick with pinky purple out of all of them if you want to grab one definitely bury me too is bay um very thin layer if you can just one dip like once you take it out use that just that what's on because if you keep dipping in you're just getting more product and it's just going to become a mess like a sticky mess on your lips so last but not least is the shade mood which i thought would be like a really deep purple shade but it's really not that dark but we're still going to try it on of course <laughs> So it's just a tiny bit darker than the one that I wore before. So while my lips are drying, I completely forgot to swatch Bury Me 2 on um, my hand. So I'm gonna do that next to Bury Me 1, so you can see. So that's one, and then that's two. You really don't need both. Probably pick a favorite and go with it, but I thought they would be different silly me so my overall thoughts on the whole dose of colors fakes or dupes whatever you want to call it um they are sticky they are cheap feeling but the shades are gorgeous they're not patchy and the sticky feeling you can kind of 
get used to you, like I don't know how to explain it obviously if you're used to luxury high-end liquid lipsticks you you probably won't like this feeling on your lips because you can definitely tell you've got something on your lips but if you are on a budget and you really want some liquid lipsticks to try these are really not bad they're not super patchy super dry in they're just a tiny bit sticky and that may annoy some people i have tons of liquid lipsticks so i probably won't reach for these as often but i think if you are on a budget and you definitely want to try i definitely think they're better than the la girl flat finish pigment gloss and they're cheaper um these are just so patchy and so drying they're like everything bad that you don't want out of a liquid lipstick um i think that's all i can say girl is if, if you want to try fake lipsticks do not let anybody you know try put you down it's your coins if you don't want to spend 20 dollars on a liquid lipstick you really don't have to so that was it for my video today girlies i hope you enjoyed this quick review and definitely keep your eyes out for the fake lime crime also lime crime did actually send me their new prairie collection so i'm going to be swatching that as well that's real lime crime <laughs> so keep an eye out for both videos oh also i'm gonna be la splash sent me a package so i'm gonna be swatching that as well um just tons of lip swatch videos coming up so definitely stay tuned so that is it for my video girlies i hope you enjoyed this video definitely stay tuned for more lip swatch videos and reviews and i'll catch you in my next one take care don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe take care bye